So that bag's about a half liter, so that's a half liter of gas. Biogas right here. Yum. Uh, my name is Richard Chokola. I'm a PhD student here at Ohio State University working with Dr. Jay Martin. The main focus of our research is to adapt low-tech unheated digesters uh, that are very common in tropical countries and adapt that technology and optimize it for uh, temperate climates in particular areas like Ohio where you get very cold winters. Um, and the reason that needs to be optimized is that uh, the microbes that produce the methane tend not to be as efficient in the winter and the biogas yields go down. So through a combination of digester design um, and operation, we're looking to optimize the production of methane year round, um, realizing that regardless of what we do, it probably will drop off a little bit in the winter, but it's, uh, the goal here is to minimize um, the loss of methane yield in the colder temperatures. This, this is still the research and development phase. There are no farmers in Ohio currently operating a system like this. Um, there are quite a lot, though, in other countries. I think between China and India combined, there's probably 10 million of these systems out there. But due to the fact that the systems aren't really, have never been common in this country, and then also because of the problems with the colder temperatures here, it's never really been implemented in Ohio. So that's the main part of our goal here, is to get a system that works in Ohio that's readily adoptable and that people will be willing to use. And uh, my, my part of this project, what I'm interested in is looking at the microbial communities that develop and, and how those communities change over time um, with changes in temperature, the changes in digester operation. Um, and, the, and the idea there is that if we can optimize a particular microbial community for producing methane and try to maintain that particular community year-round. The important thing for optimal digestion is what's referred to as the carbon-nitrogen ratio. Um, and, and the carbon-nitrogen ratio, about 20 to 30, is optimal for anaerobic digestion. One of the uh, issues with using just manure is that the CN ratio is only about 16%, so it's a little bit lower than what's optimal. And that's because um, a lot of the readily digestible organic matter has already been utilized by the cow. Um, you know, that, that's probably the most efficient anaerobic digester around right now is the of the cow. So um, there's, there has been experiments on co-digestion with some plant material to, to bring up the carbon-nitrogen ratio. Um, but the food waste tends to be a little bit the other direction. The plant material has a lot of carbon, but not quite enough nitrogen. So it may be that in order to get these systems optimized for the cold, you might have to do some co-digestion to get a really optimal CN ratio. Goal, one of the overall goals we have out here is to try to design a digester that's uh, more affordable and uh, doesn't require as much uh, management and uh, time to take care of it as the typical digesters in the U.S. do. R right now in the U.S. there's probably, if you look on the U.S. Uh, EPA AgStar website, there's about two or three hundred digesters on dairy farms in the U.S. Those digesters are all very large. And if you want to have one of those digesters, you have to have more than a thousand cows and about a million dollars or more. If you do the math and look at those numbers, that, that prohibits about 95% or more of all the dairies in the United States from being able to use anaerobic digestion. So our, what we're trying to do is come up with something that's uh, a little more affordable, smaller scale, a little bit easier to use, it doesn't require all the mechanisms the mechanisms of management that those larger systems do, something that the majority of dairy farmers can use uh, to harness some energy from their manure. And so we're starting, and honestly we're probably starting too simple, but our approach is let's just start as simple as we can without any mixing, without any heating, and see if this will work. Uh, if you look at what they're doing in China, they have systems very similar to this that work in these climates that, that produce biogas throughout the winter. Um, so we think that this will work and we're trying to optimize it by collecting some data and getting this system up and running.